had this weird glitch where I couldn't type in the square brackets, I restarted Blender, and now I can. And of course, the name of the property, the first one is uh, AnimHP. And then the second line is going to be health bar. This time, we're going to use the anim ghost HP. Anim ghost HP equals purse ghost HP because we're dealing with the ghost property times 10. So what that's going to do, we calculated the percent here by taking the original property divided by the maximum times 10. And now we're taking the percent that we got here and we're going to multiply it by 10 and that's going to be the value of the animation uh, properties. And the animation properties of course we're going to use in our animation script. So now we're going to go ahead and add the logic for losing health. So first thing we're going to have to include our uh, keyboard sensor here to get the keyboard input. So cont, oh actually space, cont sensors, this is just getting a normal sensor. Oops, what the hell did I do? Cont sensors, square brackets, quotations, and the name of it is keyboard, so I'm just going to stick with that. I never renamed it. Keyboard. <coughs> now we have our space, we can use it as input. So if space dot positive, and we add the dot positive, since we're using a sensor. Uh, now the first thing, uh, ghost, to explain what ghost is going to do, ghost is always going to be a step behind HP. So HP is going to be the uh, health of the player as it is at the moment. So he lost 300 HP. It's going to have it's going to have it fully updated. Ghost is always going to be a step behind uh, to preserve the health before the player lost it. And you'll see how that affects the animation. It's for animation purposes. That's why Ghost exists. So the first thing we're going to do, we just took damage. Before we change the health, we got to tell Ghost what its new value is going to be. So it's going to be health bar because we're dealing with the object property ghost uh, ghost HP and we're gonna set it to equal health bar HP so we're just saying alright ghost you're gonna take the value of health whatever it is at the moment and then we're gonna change then we're gonna deduct the damage so we save the value of health before we take uh, before we apply the damage then next up we're gonna apply the damage so health bar and of course the damage is going to be applied to the actual HP property, the health bar HP. And how we're going to do that is we want to reduce damage from whatever HP the, the HP property is equal to, right? So we're just going to say health bar HP minus, since we have a large uh, number here, 2,900, we're going to reduce something significant like 300 so that it makes uh, a noticeable difference to the health. So what we're doing here is, if we press space, which means we, we just took damage in this case, first thing we're going to update ghost to save the property of health, of HP. Uh, and then we're going to take HP and we're going to set it equal to 300 subtracted from whatever HP is at this point. So we're going to take health, reduce 300, and, that, and that's going to be the new value of HP. That's what these two lines mean. And we can test this out. We can already see debug properties on the top left. I don't know if you guys can see it in the video. But we are going to hit play. Check if there are any errors. Toggle system console. There's a lot of errors. Well, there's one error that keeps on repeating on line 25 in module. Oh, no, not module. In line 9. Uh, no sensors. I misspelled sensors. So I'm going to go to line 9. Sensors. Hit P. See if there's any errors. And there are errors. Line 11, health bar not found. So line 11 purse. Ah, uh, that's because this is no caps, and I set the health there to cap. Uh, change this one as well, since the same problem is there. Hit P. Any errors? Yes. Apparently, I can't spell today. Line 11. I, I didn't. I just change that. Oh, over here, we still have those. Alright, this is just making sure that this one matches what's written here. Any more errors, please? No? No. Alright, so now we can test it out. I'm going to zoom in. On the top left, I can see that health is currently... So health max is 2,951. That should not change. 
uh, in our current setting. Of course, it will change if you upgrade your player's armor, but we're not going to do that, so it, it shouldn't change in this case. The next property is health bar dot HP. Now, the first thing you see, health bar dot max HP. The health bar dot is the actual object name. You notice here that our plane is called health bar, and then of course that's the property for it, HP or max HP. Now HP, which is the second uh, item, when we hit space, it should lose 300. Ghost should stay the same value as HP was before it took damage. And Anim is going to change. You can see it's set to 100 right now, and then Ghost Anim is set to 100. Uh, those are going to change. All right. Now, one thing. Why are they set to 100? Shouldn't they be multiplied by 10? That's concerning, but w we'll see. Uh, we're just going to go with whatever this is. Uh, so I'm just gonna. We just want to see the change. I just want to explain to you guys what Ghost does. So now I lost 300. I'm going to press space. I lost 300, 2,651. Okay. Ghost hasn't changed. It's always a step behind HP. If I hit space again, uh, now Ghost should lose 300, and HP should lose 300 more. So notice HP now is 2,651. Ghost will become 2,651. And then HP will lose 300. And you can see the change there. So Ghost is always one step behind HP. That's how we want it. Uh, now if I check the logic here, there is something weird. Because purse HP should be a value out of 100. I'm just going to set it to print purse HP to see what purse is going to equal to. Is going to be equal to. It's equal to 10. Oh, yes, of course. That's because purse, to get the percent, my apologies, you multiply it by 100, I put 10. So the purse properties are multiplied by 100 in order to get a full value out of 100. The health bar anim, the anim properties are multiplied by 10. Now it should be fine. So now if we play, instead of seeing it, the anim properties set to 100, they should be 1,000, which they are now. All right, so we fixed that problem. Okay, so now we have our animation property set. The next part, which is the final part, is to play the actual animation. And that's what we'll do right now. So, there is a function for playing actions. I'm going to hit enter. Uh, now, we want to play the animation after we hit space. After we lost health, we want to play the animation, right? So it's going to be uh, indented under the if here. And how that works, you remember, if I want to apply movement to the plane here, it's health bar, as we called it over here, dot apply movement, right? Well, play and play action, the function, is the same thing. It, it exists under the KX uh, game object uh, properties. If we check, if we look at the API, re API reference, health, Python API reference, go down, game logic kx game object and we go down here align axis to vector apply movement we can see those ones here and we want to find apply or play action play action right there so this is what we're going to deal with play action now the first one is a name all right, so we're going to go and do this right now. And I'm going to show you guys how to use uh, the API reference in this case. So play action is what we're going to use. Of course, since it's a KX game object, remember when to get to it, we click the KX game object over here. It belongs to a KX game object, and of course, in their nature, what ends up happening is uh, we have to put the name of the object first that we're going to be animating. So here it is. I'm just going to make it the... or never, Yeah, so now you can see it right here at the top. Play action. So, of course, because it's a KX game object function, we have to put the name of the object first, as it's called in our script. And then we put the actual function. Now, it's play and then action with a capital. So that's what we'll put. Play. Action. You can just copy and paste, even. And then what we can see next is that there's a big bracket that contains a whole bunch of values. So we're going to create that bracket. Open and close. So the first value is the name. 
And if we look down here, name is a string. String would 